All right, in this video, we're going to create a drop shadow or a uh, cast shadow on the word shear here. We're going to be using the shear tool and also the scale tool. Uh, so I'm going to select my word shear here, and I'm going to go in and find the shear tool. It's behind the scale tool. So find the shear tool. Uh, same as we did in the clock video, I'm going to hold down my Alt key. I want to change this point of origin to be the bottom right anchor point of this R. Okay. I want the shear angle to be 45 degrees. I'm going to hit copy. I want to make this a gray color for my shadow. Um, and I want to send this to the back. Object arrange send to back. Okay. Next thing I want to do is I want to reduce the height of my shadow so it looks like it's cast uh, a shadow along the ground. So I'm going to do that is I'm going to cut the height in half using the scale tool. Again, I want my point of origin to be here on the lower right anchor point of the R so that the bottoms of all the letters stay uh, connected. Okay, so I'm going to hold down my Alt key and I'm going to click on the bottom right corner of the R with my scale tool. And I want to do a non-uniform uh, scale here because I want the width of my word here to stay the same. I don't want to reduce the width, but I, only, I want to reduce the height. So under vertical, I'm going to put in 50%, and under horizontal, I'm going to keep that at 100%, and I'm going to hit OK. And now what you have is you have a shadow that looks like it's cast along the ground. The sun's coming from over on this side of the light source, from over here, shining through the letters and casting a shadow here on the ground, okay, behind the words, okay, and that is going to be your advanced transformation number two.